Hello, my name is Nazir Khan from the Faculty of Civil Engineering Technology and I will be demonstrating for you today the procedure for calculating the full circle bearing of a traverse. The procedure is listed here. There are three steps to it. Adjust the interior angles if necessary. Calculate the deflection angle. Calculate your full circle bearing. Let's go and look at uh, the information that would be given for a typical traverse. We have the interior angles that are given in degrees, minutes, and seconds, and that is in white. Okay. We have each length of the line segment given in, in yellow, and we have one bearing that's given. So this is typical information that you would have with a traverse. In this uh, example or this demonstration, we won't be using the actual length of each leg of the traverse we won't be using the those. The first step in our procedure is to check and adjust the interior angle if necessary. We have a formula up here. Summation of interior angle is equal to n minus 2 times 180 degrees. Now the n that we're looking at represent the number of uh, sides to the traverse or the number of interior angles. They're both the same. When we look at uh, our n, we're going to start at a, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We have 6 sides, 6 interior angles, so that n becomes 6. 6 minus 2 times 180 will give you 720 degrees, 0, 0 minutes, 0, 0 seconds. So if we add up our interior angle and it matches this, there, there is no adjustment that is necessary. However, if it does not match that exactly, then we have to adjust the interior angles. As you could see, the interior angles are listed here, and I've summated them, and I got 7195900. So they don't exactly match 720. We're one minute short from 720. 60 seconds from 720. In this case, I am going to add that 60 seconds to each one of these angles, but I have to divide the 60 seconds up as even as possible to add it to the angle. It's nice and easy calculation to do. We have 60 seconds, 6 angles. Divide 60 by 6, you'll have 10 seconds. So I'm going to increase all of these angles by 10 seconds. If I increase 23 by 10, I will get 33. 10 increased by 10 will give you 20, and 3 increased by 10 will give you 13, and all of the rest of them are increased by 10 seconds. As you can see, my, my sum now, the sum of my interior angle, matches my theoretical sum. So these are the interior angles that I am going to use from now on for all calculations. As you can see, I've uh, placed the adjusted interior angles into the traverse and I'm going to go and find the bearing of BC this line segment here I need to find the bearing of this line segment the bearing of BC is equal to the previous bearing plus or minus the deflection angle well the plus and minus really means that if we are deflecting clockwise that is considered to be a plus deflection angle if we are deflecting counterclockwise, counterclockwise, that's a negative deflection angle. When we look at our rotation or deflection in each one of these uh, uh, survey stations, we could see that we have a clockwise rotation. So all of these, the deflection angles are going to be positive. Okay, All of them will be positive. Again, just a reminder, clockwise rotation is positive, counterclockwise rotation is negative. If I'm going to calculate the bearing of BC, I need to calculate that particular deflection angle right in there. Okay, That deflection angle is calculated by subtracting the interior angle from 180 degrees. As we know, on either side of a line, on either side of a line is 180 degrees. It's called a straight angle. So if I were to subtract 105, 05, 20 from 180, I will get that deflection angle. I add it to the 
previous bearing and I should get the new bearing okay let's go and look at that uh, right now we have 180 degrees minus the interior angle 180 degrees minus 105 20 will give you a deflection angle that's positive of 74 54 40 okay I'm gonna take that deflection angle and add it to the previous bearing now we are pretty lucky that the previous bearing is um, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 because the deflection angle becomes the bearing of BC. If we were to add 74, 54, 40 to 0, it would be 74, 54, 40. So in this case, that, that bearing right there is equal to the deflection angle Okay, so the bearing is equal to the deflection angle. However, if we were to go and calculate a second bearing, it wouldn't work out to the deflection angle itself. Let's go and find the bearing of C, D. Bearing of C, D. Calculation of the deflection angle at that point, 180 minus 129 or 113, and that would give us a deflection angle of 50, 58, 47. I am rotating clockwise, so therefore I'm going to add it to the previous bearing, which is 74, 54, 40. 74, 54, 40 plus 50, 58, 47 will give you 125, 53, 27. So that's going to be the new deflection angle of CD. And that is the same procedure you would use all the way around, all the way around to get all of the bearings of this closure. When we uh, get to the last bearing here, we should do a check into the given bearing. And what I mean by that is that I'm going to calculate this deflection angle and when I add it to this bearing right here, I should get the given bearing. Okay, Let's go and do that. If I were to uh, calculate the deflection angle, 180 minus 125 12 33 will give me 54 47 27 when I add it to 305 12 33 I get 360 degrees 00, zero minutes 00, zero seconds we know that uh, 0 and 360 is the same bearing so this particular situation does check we've done uh, all clockwise rotation which are positive deflection angle let's go and do one uh, deflection counterclockwise as we could see in this case we have uh, a bearing of AF and that is 305 12 33 and we're gonna go and find the bearing of FE okay we are now deflecting counterclockwise as the arrow is showing counterclockwise the calculation of the deflection angle is still the same 180 minus 133 10 10 okay and that would give us a deflection angle of 46 degrees 49 50 however it is a negative deflection angle therefore when we add it algebraically add it to 305 12 33 we are technically subtracting it from that so therefore we're going to end up with a, a bearing of 258 22 okay and that's uh, that's how you calculate full circle bearing um, that's all I have for you I hope that this uh, demonstration helps you in your schoolwork and uh, that's it